Hi friends, it's Roz Reads. Please subscribe to my channel. Today we're reading Princess Pink and the Land of Fake Believe, The Three Little Pugs by Noah Jones. And here's a picture of Noah Jones. Please buy his books or get the book at the library and follow along with us. Chapter One. No pink tutus. This is Princess Pink. Her first name is Princess. Her last name is Pink. Princess does not like princesses or ballerinas, and she really does not like the color pink. This would be so pretty on you. Princess likes running and jumping and yelling at the top of her lungs, and she really likes karate. I can't stand pink, but I would really love to wear this. Princess's seven brothers like karate too, but she is the karate champ. That's my little kicker. Hiya! Crack! Princess broke another board and won a new belt. It was purple. I can't stand purple. It's almost as bad as pink. What if I break two boards? Then can I get the brown belt? That night, Princess showed her new belt to her friend Reggie the spider. He crawled out from under her pillow. Wow, another belt! The rest of the pink family did not know about Reggie. They also did not know that Princess took late night trips through her refrigerator into the zany mixed up land of fake believe. Oh, I want to show our friends in Fake Believe my karate moves. Hiya! That's a great idea. Moldy Locks would love to see you. I'll use my special magnet from Mother Moose to open the portal. Let's go, Reggie. Thanks, Princess, but I'll stay here tonight. It's nap time. Princess sneaked down to the kitchen. She put the magnet on the fridge. Then she turned it to the left, just like Mother Moose had told her to do. A blast of light filled the room. The fridge stopped its usual hum sound. It began to sparkle and shine. Princess tugged open the door. It was early morning in the land of fake belief. She saw it looked like Humpty Dumpty falling off a wall. Only he was tie-dyed. Land of fake belief, here I come. Princess stepped inside her fridge, then she climbed down the ladder. Chapter 2, Big Bad Lemon Princess quickly made her way to the Big Bad Bakery. She could see her friends Moldy Locks and Scaredy Pants Wolf through the window. Princess opened the door. Moldy Locks rushed over, but she didn't hug Princess Hello. She pulled her inside. Hey, Moldy Locks! I'm so glad you're here. We really need your help. As usual, Scaredy Pants was crying as he rolled out the dough for a pie. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Oh, hi, Princess. Scaredy Pants didn't stop crying, but he did offer Princess some pie. Would you like a slice? Not today, thanks. I've eaten enough wolf tears. Goldilocks pulled Princess by the hand. What's all the fuss about? Scaredy Pants has a big problem. Come on, we'll show you. Goldilocks dragged Princess toward the garage. There, Scaredy Pants Wolf filled her in on the whole story. I needed a new van to deliver pies, so I tried to buy one from the three little pugs. But the deal went sour. They sold me a lemon. The three little pugs tricked him. Look! Princess looked inside the garage. She expected to see a run-down delivery van, but instead she saw a lemon. Was there a mix-up at the car dealership? Maybe the pugs thought you needed a lemon for one of your pies? I need a new van, not more pies. 
I'd like to ask for my money back, but those shady pugs scare me. I'm not afraid of small dogs. In fact, I kind of like pugs and their mushy little faces. I was hoping you'd say that, princess. Let's go talk to them. Don't worry, scaredy pants. We'll get this sorted out. Scaredy pants stayed at the bakery with his very pricey lemon. Boo hoo. Princess and Moldylocks headed off to the Three Little Pugs car lot. As soon as they got there, the Three Little Pugs tried to sell them a car. Welcome, ladies. Ooh, that hair. Fabulous. I have just the right color car for you. It's pink. You're going to love it. Car sale quickly here. You have to act fast or you'll lose out. Please note all sales are final. No returns or exchanges. We just need to get a few things signed. Then you can be on your way. Three little pugs sale. No returns or exchanges. Used cars. Princess and Moldylocks were too smart for the three little pugs. I can't stand pink, and we're not here to buy. Yeah, we're here to get our friend's money back. Scaredy Pants wanted a van, not a lemon. The three little pugs knew they were in trouble. They made a run for it. Then they sped off in their SUV. Princess and Moldylocks ran down the lane after the three little pugs. Come on, we can follow their dust trail. Chapter 3, House of Straws. Princess and Moldylocks jogged all the way to the first little pug's house. It was made out of drinking straws. The girls caught their breath. Then Princess knocked on the door. Little pug, little pug, let us in. Not by the curl in my taily tail tail. Then I'll block and I'll chop and I'll kick my way in. Before Princess had a chance to kick her way in, the first little pug opened the door. Are you sure you have the right house? Yes, we're sure. Princess held up a picture of Scaredy Pants Wolf. This is our friend. He wanted a van, but you sold him a lemon. We're here to get his money back. Sorry, a deal is a deal. It was a bad deal. All sales are final, no returns or exchanges. That's not fair, you tricked our friend. There's nothing I can do, Scaredy Pants signed a contract. You're a crook. Yeah, your car lot should be shut down. The first little pug was angry. He was so angry that he slammed the door. And he slammed the door so hard that the entire house of straws crashed to the ground. The first little pug, pug climbed into his SUV. Princess and Moldylocks couldn't chase after him. They were buried under lots of straws. Your friend is out of luck. He can kiss his money goodbye. A large piece of paper flew out from the pug's sunroof as he sped off. Princess jumped up to catch it. Look at this. What is it? Princess and Moldylocks took a closer look. It's a map of fake believe. What are all these red X marks? I don't know, but these sneaky pugs must be up to something. We need to find out what. Princess tucked the map into her pocket. Then the two friends ran off after the SUV. Chapter 4, House of Sticks. Hurry, we need to catch up to that SUV. I'm moving as fast as my moldy legs can carry me. Finally, Princess and Moldylocks found the first little pug's SUV. It was parked at his brother's house. The second little pug's house was made out of fish sticks. There's something fishy about this house. The girls caught their breath. Then Princess knocked loudly on the door. Little pug, little pug, let us in. Not by the curl in my taily tail tail. Then I'll block and I'll chop and I'll kick my way in. 
No one answered. So Princess Pink karate chopped the door down. Hi ya! The second little pug came to what was left of the door. His brother stood behind him. They smiled at the girls. Hello, we were just heating up some cocoa. Please come in. Princess and Moldylocks were not sure if they should go inside. I really don't trust these pugs, but we promised Scaredy Pants we'd get his money back. Come inside. I'm sure we can sort this out over a cup of hot cocoa. I guess I could use a snack break after all that running. The two little pugs politely pulled out the chairs for the girls. Then they poured them each a cup of hot cocoa. Marshmallows? Yes, please. Oh dear, we forgot napkins. We'll be right back. Help yourself to some cookies. The pugs left the kitchen. Moldy Locks saw a stack of napkins on the table. Wait a second. But it was too late. Princess opened the cookie jar. Ah! Snakes exploded out of the top. They drank up all the cocoa. They ate up all the marshmallows. Then they ate the whole house. There wasn't a single fishy crumb left. The entire house was gone. Please don't eat us! Hi, I'm Brian. Thanks for letting me and my buddies out of the cookie jar. Ah, uh, you're welcome. You see, the three little pugs trapped us in there, and that was after they sold us a snake bus that turned out to be a real lemon, and... Vroom! Just then a loud revving sound shook the ground. The two little pugs were driving off in the biggest SUV Princess had ever seen. Not again! This has to end! I wish we had a car too so we could chase after them. Wait a minute! I have an idea! Princess whistled. Soon her old friend, Tunicorn, flew in. Who needs a car when you have a Tunicorn? Your tuna head doesn't smell so bad after all those fish sticks. Chapter 5, House of Bricks Princess and Moldylocks climbed on Tunicorn's back. It whisked the girls up, up, and away. Follow that car! We have to stop those rotten pugs. Tunicorn landed next to the third little pug's house. It was made out of cheese bricks. Princess and Moldylocks climbed down. Whoa, this cheese has been in the sun way too long. Hey, you, even I don't like the smell of moldy cheese. Not welcome. The girls stomped up to the door of the third little pug's house. Then Princess knocked with all her might. Little pug, little pug, let us in. Not by the curl in my taily tail tail. Then I'll block and I'll chop and I'll kick my way in. No one answered. The princess took two steps back. Then she karate kicked the door. Hi ya! Her foot got stuck in the cheese. Moldylocks helped princess get unstuck. Then the girls heard a, a hissing noise. They turned to look and they spotted a snake in the grass. But it wasn't just any snake. It was Brian and his crew of snake buddies. Hey, what are you doing here? We came to finish what we started. Gulp. They, can't, they st can't still be hungry, can they? Please don't say you're here to eat us. No, no, no. We're here to help you stop the pugs. Chapter 6. Snake Attack. If the pugs won't come out, then we need to go in. But how? Your ninja moves don't work on this smelly cheese house. Princess and Moldylocks needed to come up with a plan. Brian, can you eat your way into this house? Sorry, we can't eat dairy. No cheese for us. Then Moldylocks had a crazy cakes idea. Brian, can you guys slither up to the roof? You bet. Great, crawl down their chimney. Then lasso up those pugs and let us in. 
In no time at all, Brian and his buddies had tied up the three little pugs. Brian opened the front door. Oh, Chamunga! These snakes have a tight squeeze. We'll give you anything you want. We promise to be good. Start talking, pugs. Why are you selling lemons and not cars? The three little pugs started talking. We're just trying to make a living. What are the X's on this map? The X's are where we plan to build car lots. The land of fake believe is going to be our used car empire. We are really good at our job. I wouldn't count on it. Princess tore up the map. You three need a new job. Hey, where are you guys going? We smell something sour in the basement. Let's check it out. Brian found boxes and boxes of lemons in the basement. When Princess saw the lemons, she got an idea. Wait, don't eat those. I know just the job for the pugs, but we'll need lots of lemons. Chapter 7, Payback Time. Princess and Moldylocks put the pugs to work. Why do we have to do this? Are we done yet? What are we doing? You'll see. With this new job, you pugs will be able to pay everyone back. Brian and his friends helped out. To be squeezed. We're helping out and working out. One, two, three, squeeze! Used lemons. Princess and Moldylocks ran all over Fake Believe. They spread the word about the pug's new job. If the pugs tricked you, follow us. Bring your lemon, the pugs will give you your money back. And come buy some tasty lemonade. The three little pugs finished setting up the lemonade stand. Hmm, this is never going to work. Grumph. No one makes money selling lemonade. Kerflump. This is a waste of time. No returns or exchanges. Lemonade sold as is. Finally, the store opened for business. The lemonade stand had two lines, one for buying fresh lemonade and one for returning lemons. The return lines grew longer and longer. Wow, you really sold a lot of lemons. You won't fool anyone ever again. Buy lemonade here, return lemons here. Princess and Moldylocks watched the three little pugs count up the money. I can't believe how much money we made selling lemonade. You can't believe how much money who made? It's like they don't trust us. We should have sold lemonade from the start. We didn't make nearly this much at our car lot. See? Crime doesn't pay. Three little pugs paid everyone back, but they weren't done yet. Chapter 8, Keys to Happiness. The pugs gave Scaredy Pants Wolf a new delivery van. Scaredy Pants cried tears of joy, and the three little pugs smiled, but just a little. It's so shiny, I'm so happy, boo-hoo! Easy with the tears, you'll ruin my tie. Big Bad Bakery. Brian and his friends finally got their snake bus. Sorry we ate your house. We're even now. We're off to build our lemonade empire. Bye. Then it was time for Princess Pink to head home. I made you my latest pie, Lucky Lemon. Thanks, you really shouldn't have. I hope Reggie likes wolf tears. Mother Moose and Tunicorn met Princess and Moldylocks near the ladder that led out of fake belief. We all owe you a big thank you. Those pugs fooled everyone. Thanks for your help. I'll be back soon. Princess balanced the lemon pie as she climbed up the ladder. Then she stepped through her fridge. Princess was so tired. She dove into bed and almost crushed Reggie. Hey, look out. Sorry. Have some pie. 
a midnight snack. Sounds perfect. This has been Princess Pink and the Land of Fake Believe, the Three Little Pugs. Please share this video with your friends. Please like this video. And please subscribe to my channel at Roz Reads. Thanks for listening. Bye.